Everything out there, it overheats and do this. As soon as somebody else buy it, look at it in the cars, the big vans, the suits people bought. You know, that car, I just brought it back from uh, Florida. It run like a watch. Then the next morning I get in there, click, 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 click. And after that, it got real loud. So that all somebody got to do is turn the thing that, you know, that's all they got to do. If they don't, hell, I'll walk out there. Go out, catch the bus. I can do what I want, you know. It's fine with me. The point is, is that everything we have ever said has came true right in front of everybody's face, right? Nobody can say, uh, that ain't true. Can't do that. Not here. Nobody can say, oh, man, you just making that up. I say, yeah, but I made it up in front of y'all right here. Time after time. And exactly the same stuff happened. That's not clairvoyance, and I always I haven't used that word alone. It's not clairvoyance. It's history. It's the book. It happens that way all the time. It's just time is different. Okay, the people of old, this happened, that happened, but it was the same thing, right? So if Noah and them got drowned out, they said the next time it'll be by fire. But you don't know, this is going to be a combination here. They're going to have the earth on one end boiling over with water and the other side is burning up. If you leave these crackers alone, won't it be like that? Not in a hundred years, in five years. You know, the point is, like, look at the decline. You know, when you're at the bottom of the hill, you're going, where the police stay? At the bottom of the hill. Why? Because who's speeding going up the hill? Nobody. But going downhill, you don't even have to pay attention. It just picks up speed. And so the police is at the bottom of the hill or just at the bottom. And here is the light. Okay. There's no sense waiting for boss man, this boss man, in the 50s, in the 60s, even in the 70s. But by the 80s, things start changing a little. By the 90s, it was pretty much clear. By the 2000s, yeah. Everything we said was clear on this. This is what's getting ready to happen. We said it before, but it's clear. Okay, now, and I'll go move toward a close. The people is crazy. The people is crazy. They just cruising along like uh, they sending their kids to college. They're doing this. They're doing that. Just like hell is it's gonna be there for the next forever. They're gonna get a job. They're going to get out, they're going to get a degree, they're going to get a job. They're going to work here in America as if the damn thing is going to be here like it is now. They're not planning for chaos because boss man haven't wrote chaos now. No, it's chaos. But anybody has got a wee brain could see where this is going and we got to prepare for it. I say we... I don't care to tell you the truth. What did nobody else do? You know why? Because I'm not responsible for nobody else. Personally, guess who I'm responsible for? The brother. That's it. Tell the truth. And who else is responsible for themselves? Everybody. On the day of judgment, how you going to be there? Everybody going to be there with you? It's going to be a lot of people in the area, but they're not going to be on. You're going to be sweating your own bullets. Well, I did. Well, I, I did everybody, I was following them niggas. <laughs> going on with them then. That's what the Quran say. You was following boss man? Go on over there with him. Go on. Get there. But he, he, 
He might be going downstairs. What, you just going down there with him? Excuse me about this joke. Just show you how white people think. It was about 73, 74 or 75. It was a federal court in L.A. And this white boy, he went to the penitentiary with me. And the judge gave him, must have been 20 or 25 years. He said, Judge, uh, I can't do all of that time. He said, son, just go on up there and do all you can. It's a joke. But the judge actually said that it's in the transcript. This is a white boy. He was not imagining it. This is possible, right? But what he was doing, he was a pilot or something, a dope pilot. And they gave him all two years. They, they, the, the more dope you flew in, the less time you got. So he was a, a sweet. And he got convicted. He said, Judge, I can't do all of that time. He was innocent. He, he was serious. And the judge just said, son, just go up there and do all you can. <laughs> in other words, <laughs> hey, man, so we're by ourselves. We're going to do our own time. On this one, if we get into heaven, we got there. Then the law scratched off a few things. If we did enough good things, he scratched off some of that other stuff. That's what we hoping, that the law starts scratching off all of that stuff. But I need you. I don't care what these people do or what combinations they're doing it in. I'm not with them. I'm going to do this stuff right here. Excuse the expression, they can go to hell. And if they keep on, that might be where they're headed. I don't want to go with them. There's a big possibility, being a Negro and all, that we can wind up in that condition. But I'm not trying to go there. If it said do this and don't do that, I'm going to try to follow that. Okay, so I'm going to move toward a close. Self-revival. Uh, this is a new schedule, all that, da 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 and, and we did, we got a new little schedule that we uh following when we get up, even walking and running in the hills a little bit, not the hills around that you know right across the street. One of the things we had to deal with is um boss man getting in your business. And boss man, uh, uh, let's say monitoring brainwave stuff like that. I had a feeling when the feds was here last time, they had a doggone, it looked like one of the big walker talkies that they have, this, this big, and about, you know, and he was holding this thing. It wasn't a walkie talkie, he was holding it right at my head. We were sitting at the table over there. The Korean one was holding it right at my head. I said, well, I'll be doggone. Anyway, I said, oh, have a good time. So, you have to um, not be afraid when we talk about psychological guerrilla warfare. Boss man is going to do his psych, and he got all kind of new little machinery and stuff. Yeah, boss man got ton. Boss man got little bugs that can fly in the room and be sitting on the wall and take your picture and stuff. You know, so. Do you know that, that rat paper that they put under the, 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 you know, under the refrigerator and other stuff. And uh, you see, the, you pull it out, it's a dead rat there all the time. He didn't dry, been there so long, he didn't dry it up and died. So uh, I got some of those. So I put some over here, some over there. And so, and a little 
the little rat poison you put out and put a little peanut butter in it and stuff. So last night, it was something going on. So I got up and I started writing again. Now, I hadn't seen this rat in I don't know how long. But this rat come in, looks at me, you know, I guess to make sure where I was. I'm telling you, this is actually the truth. And I got the, the rat paper was over here, over here. The rat food, all that was right over there. Before, he would run over here, right, where, in between the boxes I have. And where they, you know, anyway, but last night, it reminded me of a couple of weeks ago. He just tip in there and look at me. And then he went back out. He didn't go nowhere near the red paper. And I'm telling you, you can believe it if you're not. And he then he went on about his business. Maybe he wanted to see exactly what I was doing. It's up to him. But I don't put none of that past white folks. I don't I don't care what you say. You say Imam Musa been drinking. It don't make me no difference. I'm telling you that I believe, yes, that's right, I'm telling you, that I believe that they got little insects that fly in people's place, right? Yeah, and they sit there on the wall and they just... Uh, the nigga talking, and they t be talking about this and talking about that, right? And the thing is sending it all back to G GHQ. This stuff is, now it's old. That stuff is old because, see, the, no, acceleration, that's why our job is so acute because something that you, could have did yesterday, if you didn't do it, it's, it's out of date. By the day, you see what I mean? It's out of date. I don't want my telephone book. They've been 30 years so they could point the thing at your window and, and hear everything you say, right? That was back in those days. When I was writing about roving wiretaps, they already had, they didn't need no roving wiretaps. They had all kind of stuff then, because that was 20 years ago, 21 years ago, 22 years ago. That's a stone age as far as surveillance is concerned. And nowadays, you know, that's why, that's why we're going to whoop boss man bad and make fun of him, because he got all that stuff, and it ain't doing him no good. He got all that stuff, and the people is making a fool out of him, blowing him up, and the same people, he don't know who blowing, he, he might have hired the people to blow himself up. He don't know, because it's all, you know, it's all screwed up, and there's too many people involved. And the Zionist, that's the main enemy of humanity. That's the one we ought to get. Believe it or not, some of boss man's folks going to work with us before this is all over. Because you think the, who's blowing up and who's doing all that stuff? That's the Zionists. Who are they killing? Americans. They killed 13 Americans. Right? The Zionists did that. They, and some of them know. We've been waiting on them, sitting by the door, waiting for them to come in. But they're still scared. But they're not going to be scared all the time. There, there will be a point when this thing breaks. And we have to, we've been saying this. I want you to try to remember when you first heard this. This goes back 30 and 40 and Technically, it goes back 50 years. But you've been hearing it for 30 years, easy. 10% of the FBI is all right, right? You can't remember when I wasn't saying that. That means that it's just a rule. If you have an organization 
and it's founded on freedom, hell, 10% of the people believe it, right? (laughs) And after you go so far, you're going to lose them. You're going to lose them. That's the way history goes. It don't make no... We're not... I don't care whether it's Moses, he killed a guy, there's somebody from the inner circle. It says they came running from the furthest part of town, right? Man, you better get out of town because the boys is hooking the whole scheme up on you. Right? All that's history. During the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he had Quraysh that was still there. He had people that accepted the deen that was still in Mecca. Yes, it was. 